So today we're going to talk about God's will, but in a specific context. Let's say you want to get married or want to meet someone. How do I meet someone and be in the will of God? This is a very, very common question that you get and a very practical one. So what are some of the, I guess, principles, tips, biblical guidance that we can get from Scripture? Well, the first thing you do is you always go to Scripture to look at the broad parameters. Sometimes Scripture is very specific. If it says, oh, should I uh, worship another god? Well, of course not. The Scripture is very, very clear. Should I try to forgive someone that has hurt me? Well, that might be a little harder, but the Scriptures are still very clear that ultimately we need to have a forgiving heart if someone asks forgiveness from us. But when it comes to marriage and finding someone, you're surprised that it's not that specific. Let me give you some passages that uh, the Lord has given to us. There's a passage in 1 Corinthians chapter 7 that says if, uh, it's talking about uh, someone who is a widow, and uh, it says, but uh, you could remarry, but in the Lord, marry in the Lord. So what there is, is there's a basic parameter that if you marry someone, or you, you know, have, a, have a, a long-term dating relationship with the intention of possibly marrying, that you want to uh, have a relationship with a believer. But outside of that, that's pretty much the injunction and the parameter. That's pretty broad. Doesn't God, is it more specific? How do I do it? Do I pray? Do you know, where do I find? You know, do I go to church and stuff like that? How do I meet people? Well, outside of that general parameter that we marry within the Lord, I would always recommend people to pray. I don't think we pray enough. James says we have not because we ask not. And oftentimes, if you ask with a proper motive and motivation that it's not truly for yourself and you're not using God, God is very, very gracious to answer our prayers. But the second thing that's very, very important, and this is also related to the Scripture, is to realize our freedom that we have to select someone or to meet people or to make relationships with people. Sometimes we may think that that is a burden, but really under the grace of God, it is a really, really uh, uh, parameter that God has given grace to us. We have freedom to choose. Wow! The problem is, is oftentimes we make the wrong decision when we choose. We may tend to blame God. This is not a very good thing. So even though God has given us parameter that we marry in the Lord and we have a freedom to choose whoever we would want to have in a relationship, we need to make this decision wisely. So what are some biblical parameters in choosing wisely? The best book in the Bible that I know that helps us to understand what a wise decision is in terms of um, a significant other is the book of Proverbs. Because the book of Proverbs has a lot to do with what a, a wise man is. And the last chapter of the book of Proverbs talks about what a virtuous woman is. And believe it or not, that's very, very important in modern society, which tends to look at attraction, beauty, as the mm, number one parameter in seeking someone. Now, I'm not saying you, 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 you date someone that you're not attracted to, you marry someone that you're not attracted to. I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying, then the, biblically, there is much more um, measures, characteristics in the person than just what they look. Let me give you some examples. For the virtuous man, for the wise man, it was very, very important that the writer of the Proverbs said things like, you know what, this guy has to be able to discern who to hang around with and who not to hang around with. Oh, this person has to be wise and that he has to have a little proactiveness in his life and he can't be a, a slugger and just sit at home and do nothing. Oh, he has to have someone who makes sound decisions and know when to 
give someone wisdom and know when to shut up and, 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 and not just play the game with people. These are characteristics that, uh, that uh, make someone very, very wise in the sight of God and would make a very good uh, spouse. Great characteristics. For Proverbs 31, the virtuous woman is, 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 uh, has a list too. The list includes things like she can multitask. She's a fiscal asset. She's very, very gracious. She thinks ahead. She cares for people. All these characteristics are beyond the looks, beyond the attraction, and they really define what a real quality person is. So let's summarize. You're looking to meet someone, pray. Ask God to show you someone. Hmm, okay. Understand that you are to meet someone in the Lord. Same faith values that you have. But three, as you meet a, someone that you're attracted to, see that they are quality people. Because if you date, marry someone who is not of quality, um, you know, it's going to be a difficult, uh, difficult road ahead. So I hope this helps you. And I hope this helps in your decisions and relationships in the future.